Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. The sun is shining after a whole week of rain. And actually it was raining this morning. So this is quite a surprise. It is quite cold. So I'm going to make something really nice for lunch today, which is from Chetna's Easy Baking, which means it's easy. Obviously, I am making this curry chickpea cauliflower pie with fenugreek pastry. The pastry is also super simple, nothing complicated, but it's going to be flavored with fenugreek, which is uh, dried methi, dried fenugreek leaves. And um, you can find them in most supermarkets these days. Otherwise, Asian supermarket is your best bet. Right, uh, let's get cooking. And before I start, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get a notification every time I share a new recipe. So for the pastry, I have got here 300 grams of plain flour and to this I'm going to add some flavors. So just half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of dried fenugreek leaves or kasuri methi. And if you don't have this and you can't find it, then just skip this uh, fenugreek because really there isn't any kind of place replacement for it and here I've got 150 grams of unsalted rock solid butter straight from the fridge I'm just gonna chop it up into small pieces I'll get a board because otherwise somebody on here will tell me off so um, just cut them into tiny pieces so it's easier to rub it into the flour so I'm just going to give this a mix first, then add the chopped up butter and then rub the butter into the flour. You can do this in a mixer. I, I never use a mixer for this. So um, yeah, just rub it with the thumb and fingers. So it kind of becomes like breadcrumb texture. And once you have get, uh, got that texture, as you can see, like breadcrumbs, I've got some water. I'm going to add four tablespoons of water first. It usually takes around five to six, sometimes less, sometimes more. So, yeah, as always, don't add everything together at once. Yeah, I'm going to need a couple more tablespoons. So that's six tablespoons in total. That should be plenty. Then all you have to do is bring it together. I'm not trying to knead it, but I'm trying to kind of bind it. And because it's a short crust pastry, you really don't want kneading because you want it to be short and like kind of buttery and crispy. So if you need too much, it will become quite uh, chewy and that's what we don't want. So just bring it together. And now what I'm going to do is cover uh, and you could use a wax sheet, cling film, whatever you like. And I'm going to put this in the fridge for half an hour. And while the dough is resting in the fridge quite nicely, chilling in the fridge for half an hour, it gives uh, me enough time to prepare the filling. And I'm going to start with one medium sized onion, finely chopped. Get the knife. A nice hot pan, two to three tablespoon of sunflower oil, rapeseed oil or vegetable oil. Next, going to add a teaspoon of cumin seeds, let them sizzle. Once it's sizzling, I'm going to add the onions. I've, I've got two green chilies. They are very hot and I'm not going to finely chop because I can take them out for people who don't want to have chili. But if you're all fond of chili in the house, then you can just finely chop this. So I'm going to cook this for 10 minutes. And while this is cooking for 10 minutes, I'm going to chop up and prepare the other bits. Going to chop up a couple of tomatoes and a couple of garlic cloves. Once it's lightly golden, I'm going to add in the garlic. Just give it a minute to cook through. Next, add in the tomatoes. And I'm just going to 
cover this for five minutes on medium heat and cook it until softened. Meanwhile, I'm gonna chop half the cauliflower and one medium sized potatoes into chunks. So it's been five minutes and it's time to add the spices. You can see that the tomatoes have softened up completely. They've fallen apart, which is brilliant. So I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of garam masala, teaspoon of turmeric powder. And right now you can add some more chili, but my green chilies are very hot. So I'm gonna add half a teaspoon, but you can add a teaspoon of chili at this time moment. And now I'm gonna add all the wedge. So got the potato chopped, the cauliflower, and um, I'm adding two tins of chickpeas, which is 800 grams in total. I'm going to give it a good mix. Also going to add 100 ml of boiling water, and this is going to help cook the vegetables, so potatoes and the cauliflower, and just give it a good mix. This is going to be covered and cooked for 10 minutes on medium heat. Okay, so the time has gone off and it's been 10 minutes. Whoa, whoa. Uh, it smells, looks really good. I'm going to turn the heat off and I'm going to transfer this to a pie tin. And while the cauliflower chickpea is cooking, I'm going to prep the oven. So I'm going to get it nice to 180C uh, fan and 200C normal oven. So I'm going to just transfer all of this mixture into oops, the tin. Like, uh, that should fit really well. Perfectly, in fact. And now time to finish this off with the pastry. So just going to flour the surface, get the pastry out of the fridge. And then roll it to roughly 3 mm thickness. And whatever pastry is left, please don't let it go to waste. Just use it up for something else. Just make a pie, put it in the fridge, you can use it later. Uh, and try um, another pie filling. So I'll get this here. I've got an egg. I'm just going to brush a little bit on the um, kind of lip so that I can put the pastry on top. There you go. Beautiful. So you just press it on the lip so that it sticks to the base. Just get a sharp knife and cut it all around it. Now you can decorate a little bit with the leftover pastry. Obviously, it's not really important to do that, but if you want, you can. So, just going to do a few leaves and then again use the egg to kind of stick it on top. Right, so this goes in the hot oven for 45 minutes. We'll keep an eye, 40 to 45 minutes, until it's nice and golden from the outside. Um, I am just going to now, the last thing I'm gonna do is brush it up uh, completely, liberally with some nice, uh, the beaten egg, because that is going to give that beautiful color. Just brush, brush it with some egg, I've done it all. And now it goes in the hot oven for 45 minutes. 
So this is my leftover pastry. I'm going to wrap it up again. Um, I don't really like to waste things. So I'm going to just um, uh, boil some potatoes and make some potato pies later. So um, that has got 20 minutes left on the clock. So I'm just going to prepare a really nice fresh salad to go with it because there's potatoes in there. I don't want to put potatoes in it and chickpeas in it. So I'm just going to use some uh, fresh leaves and um, yeah, prepare one. Right, so I've just got some um, sweet gem lettuce and I'm just going to take off the leaves and then just tear them. I know it's not majorly sanded season, but it really goes well with the pie because, um, you know, it's just kind of quite crunchy and refreshing, kind of really nice balance. So I haven't got ba baby tomatoes, so I'm just using a couple of tomatoes and chop it into smaller pieces. And I have just got a nice bowl of burrata and I'm just going to tear it open into this. And I know I would use kind of uh, mozzarella, but I fancied burrata for this salad today. So that is what we are having. You could use feta, you could use um, kind of, what else could you use? And for the dressing, keeping it simple, just some olive oil, lemon juice, salt and pepper. Just the drizzle of that dressing. Just going to make sure I've got everything. And then I've got some fresh basil leaf. If you've got some, then definitely add it. And that, my friends, is a gorgeous burrata basil salad ready to go with the pie. So the time has just gone off. Oh, wow. Uh, I forgot to say something that when you put this in the oven, make sure that you put a slit in the middle to let the steam go out, which I remembered later and I put the slit in the middle. And here it is. Look at the color on that pastry. Absolutely stunning. So the key is that you just leave it alone for 10 minutes and let it sit. And then I'm going to serve it in 10 minutes. Wow, stunning. Look at that. The pastry has cooked beautifully. It's golden inside as well. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, that is just stunning. Mm. Perfect winter food. Mm. Mm. Written recipe, Chetna's Easy Baking. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to try this. It is delicious. So, so good.